All right, church, I invite you to stand as we go back into a time of worship. And I was thinking about this next song that we're getting ready to go into, and it reminds me of a scripture in Revelations, the 12th chapter, the 11th verse. I hope I'm not uh, messing that up. <laughs> um, but it talks about overcoming by the blood of the Lamb of Jesus Christ and by the word of our testimony. I just got a question. Anybody out here got a testimony? It could be as simple as God woke me up today. It can be as small as I haven't lost my job in the midst of this economy. I don't even know the word to describe it, right? But whatever it is, I feel like we all have a testimony, even if it's as simple as we still have breath in our body. So this next song that we sing, I want you to think about your personal testimony, and I want you to think about just how good God has been to you. Someone testify, and somebody say, I've got a testimony.
holy moment I feel God in this room but here in this holy moment I believe that the Holy Spirit wants to remind all of us he that began a good work will complete it sometimes we find ourselves in the middle right we know we're not where we used to be but we also know that there is so much more and sometimes it's not that we don't believe God it's just that we get a little bit of a little bit of weariness in waiting to do what he promised that he said he would do. So tonight, I want you to cling on to hope. And I want you to not lose your faith and your belief. Our God will finish what he started. If it's, if it's you're in college and you said, I, I took a, a couple of semesters off and I feel a little bit of delay, just remember that if he had you to start it, he'll have you to finish it. And he's with you, so our God will finish what it is that he started if you find yourself in a relationship that you know is supposed to be a covenant one but it seems like the way it started is, is, is not going the way you thought it would and you find yourself in the middle just know that God is still with you and he'll bring it into the place that it's supposed to be our God will finish what he started our God will finish what he started our God will finish what he started. Yeah. This is my testimony. From death to life. Grace rewrote my story. I'll testify. By Jesus Christ the righteous. I'm justified. This is my testimony. We're all alive. We're still alive. Someone just take a moment and express your gratitude for still being alive. because it's in you that we live, we move, and we have our being. 
so we always look to you, God. Emmanuel, the God that is with us. Our strength, our redeemer. Even in this moment, we feel you in this room. I want to encourage anyone that may be in here that feels the need to respond in a deeper way. Maybe you don't normally find yourself at the altar, but maybe tonight is that night for you. Maybe you don't normally lift your hands, but tonight might be that night for you. We're, gonna, we're going to come into a moment where we realize just how great God is and what it is he can do when we come together and worship in a corporate setting like this. Let's all look to him. Father, we look to you. We have no need to be overwhelmed, Father, with the cares and concerns of life. We look to you because we know that nothing is too hard for you. Father, your yoke is easy. Your burden is light. So we look to
now, church. Sing hallelujah, our God reigns forever.
church, let's fill the room and sing it together. Sing hallelujah, come on, sing. Sing Church, can we all sing it one more time? Oh. 